Today's lesson is on sediments and fossilization. We will see how sedimentary rock is formed and how bones can become fossils when they are buried. In this first image, we see the beginnings of the sedimentary process. We have the bottom of a shallow sea or a river or a stream. Here you see that we have a dark substrate layered over with a rocky surface as if the stones were washed down from a hillside. Over time, other layers form. Here we have a pebbly layer, lighter than the first. Sediments get deposited layer by layer over time. When an animal dies, it will sometimes be in a position to be covered up by this sediment. The faster an animal, like a dinosaur, is covered, the greater the likelihood that it will fossilize. Here we have a mosasaur, an ocean-going reptile of the late Cretaceous, standing in for our fossilization candidate. Here we see sediments made up of soil particles slowly raining down on our hapless mosasaur. In time, other sediments will also rain down upon the mosasaur, burying him and allowing fossilization to take place. As the animal is buried, the soft parts decay. Over millions of years, minerals slowly replace the bones, atom by atom. In time, the landscape changes due to various geological forces, and the river or sea dries up. The land dries out and becomes rock, with the bones locked inside it. With any luck, a paleontologist will come along and find it. This is one result of the fossilization process. This is an actual fossil of an allosaur tooth still in its mudstone matrix. It comes from eastern Utah. This is another view of the allosaur tooth. An allosaur comes from the Jurassic era, about 147 million years ago. The allosaur is a big tyrannosaur-like dinosaur that walks on two legs and has three-fingered hands and is a predator with very big teeth. Its primary prey was either the Stegosaurus or the Apatosaurus. This is another allosaur tooth. If you look real close, you can see the serrations on the edge. This tooth is also in its mudstone matrix. This is a Jeonganichthys, a fish from China. This fish lived in the Cretaceous era, about 65 million years ago. So what have we learned? We have learned how sediments form in quiet water or a stream, how sediments and sedimentary particles float slowly to the bottom of the stream and make layers over time. In these layers, sometimes an animal can fall and slowly decompose and then as it gets buried by these particles can mineralize and become a fossil. Thank you.